Hello everybody, my name is Inga Schäfer. I'm head of coffee competence here at Frankie Coffee Systems and my responsibility is to enable and secure perfect income quality. Hi Inga, my name is Basil King. I work as a global key account manager with Frankie Coffee Systems. I would like to share a discussion with you about IQ Flow. Sure. Yeah, and um, particularly why coffee quality matters so much mm -hmm. and why it's so difficult to secure income quality and also what it takes to stay in the game. It's a good question. I think why coffee quality matters so much is, is a fairly easy question to answer, right? It's because the customer expects high quality coffee. Nowadays, I think more than ever before, no matter where he gets it. If it's in a, in a coffee shop, we expect a, a really good coffee. If it's uh, at the petrol station or even at, even at a vending machine or self-service machine, I think people are just not ready anymore to, to have a bad coffee. That's good news. So coffee quality is not only important to the, to the consumer, of course, but also to our customers or operators of, of coffee machines, right? Because in the end, if you cannot trust in your machine to produce a good quality coffee, you might disappoint your, your consumers in the end. Mm -hmm. And that could harm your brand reputation, right? You, of course, you can lose sales in terms of how many cups a day you sell, for example, with a, with a self-service setup. But I think even worse is when, when customers don't trust your brand anymore and they don't know what they get, you know, there mm -hmm. might be a lot of inconsistency. At one point of sales, the coffee might taste great and then on the other one, it tastes not so great anymore. So I think it's really important to, to offer a consistent quality mm -hmm. that truly reflects uh, your brand and the values and also all the work that goes into a good cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I fully agree. The other part is actually that consistency with, within coffee extraction is so important because there's something going on during this coffee extraction and the time is extremely important and also the, again, consistency, which means if we, for example, have an espresso which is extracted in 10 seconds and another one in 20 seconds, that would mean a different taste profile in bitterness, for example, and also the acidity and also the aroma that can be extracted in total. And this is why we invented four years ago the IQ flow to exactly control this kind of situation. So in any conventional system, for example, we have a kind of variation of, of, of extraction times that can be uh, for an espresso 10 seconds or 20 seconds, but it shall be actually 15 seconds to uh, achieve a, an extremely good taste result. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the interesting thing is that any conventional system, so is it a, a traditional espresso machine or a fully automatic coffee machine without IQ flow has always those kinds of variances. So you will never get the same result cup by cup. Mm. Well, that's that's interesting and as i said before i think um, consistency is one of the, the key success factors for, mm -hmm. for for any coffee business mm -hmm. if it's in a in a traditional setup or with a fully automatic machine right mm -hmm. because in the end our, our customers have to trust our machines to produce a, a really good cup of coffee mm -hmm. the way they they imagined it right they they put a lot of work into uh, roasting the beans correctly to get to the taste that they want yes. and then they are putting it into those machines and they are trusting us that every cup is perfect and you talked about how IQ flow can support that can you explain a little bit more how it actually works yeah so um, when we first look at the traditional way of coffee extraction the water goes into the coffee grounds with a certain pressure of, for example, eight or nine bar. And from then on, there is a, an automatic pressure drop. And this is just an, a natural um, situation. But what that actually means is we leave it up to the uh, water going through the coffee grounds without any control. So the water is actually seeking for the, for the shortest way and the quickest way. And within the intelligent coffee extraction with IQ Flow, we have the whole process under control. That which actually means 
the water is again going into the coffee grounds with eight or nine bar. But from then on, uh, we'll have a consistent pressure within the coffee cake. And that also means a uniform aroma extraction. And beside the fact that the, um, that the extraction time is a control time, and the um, coffee grounds get extracted much better than in the traditional installation. The performance of the machine to extract really everything, all aromas, all flavor from the coffee grounds is much better with IQ Flow. Can you enhance certain flavor profiles with IQ Flow? For yeah. example, sweetness or acidity? Yeah, absolutely. Because um, you still need the right grind level, that's for sure. But from then on, you can actually vary with different extraction times. So adding, for example, two seconds, three seconds, trying out the, yeah, the different taste profiles. And there can be also aroma shifts from, for example, a, a rather nutty taste to a more uh, chocolate or roasty taste. So you can actually do the kind of, we, we call it the taste profiling. Sounds good. Um, so you also said, you mentioned the, the grind level. Mm -hmm. uh, I hear that often, right? The importance of the grind level for, for the taste in, in the cup. Mm -hmm. Is that something that is still as important with the IQ flow or can IQ flow somehow counter certain differences? within the grind level. This is not the only variance that can occur. I mean, just the question that you ask about the grind level um, leads me to the idea that people very often talk about the grind level, that this is the, uh, the most important thing. Baristas have to tweak the grind level all the time during the day. Um, the grind level is definitely important. I think people do not think so much about other variances than the grind level because, I mean, we're talking about a technical product. For example, the motor that drives the tamping pressure, which means the, the, the tamping of the coffee grounds, has a variance of plus minus 10% according to the manufacturer. So then, I mean, just calculate that into our example with the 15 seconds brewing time, then we already see that there can be a variance also, I mean, with this extraction time. And this is just one example. Also the freshness of the coffee beans, the handling of the coffee beans, um, all these kind of things play a role. And all the variances are kept under control with IQ Flow. Yeah, that's a really cool feature because when we talk with customers about IQ Flow, it's, it's oftentimes very important what the consumer gets from the machine, right? And when we talk about more traditional systems or other solutions that are on the market that adjust the grind level after a cup is dispensed, for example, uh, another machine might measure the dispensing time and realize automatically, okay, that's not the right extraction time. I adjust the grind level retrospectively, right? But then you already produced a cup of coffee that might not be good. And the, the consumer that takes the coffee from the machine doesn't know that. He might have a bad experience. He might have a, a coffee that's not, no good, right? Yeah, absolutely. And there is no barista there to to complain or to say, ah, oh, let me get you another one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for our customers, it's really important to have that real time adjustment of the drink quality that is possible with IQ Flow. So they don't get a disappointed customer first before they can do the correction for the next customer, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because if, if a customer gets a, a bad cup of coffee, it doesn't help him to know that the next one will be better, right? That's not the case with IQ Flow. You get, you get immediately a perfect result. So no, um, no bad coffees in between, for sure. Mm. That's a good thing. And that brings us back again why I think it's so valuable for, for, for strong coffee brands exactly, who are also very keen on, on providing a good quality. Mm -hmm. Because when customers are disappointed with, with the quality in the cup, they might not be returning customers. Sure. And that can ultimately harm the business, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we talked a lot about the benefits for, for consumers or service technicians. Mm -hmm. How does it actually work? inside the machine. Yeah, so IQ Flow is actually an interplay of the IQ Flow valve, the software 
and the flow meter. And the idea is to always reach the same extraction time because the extraction time, um, yeah, as I explained already, is so important to secure uh, a consistent taste profile and so a consistent um, espresso in our cup. And what IQFlow actually does is it monitors the brewing time throughout the extraction. And once it monitors that the speed is actually too fast, it closes the valves and yeah, also the opposite way. So it's actually uh, closing and opening all the time consistently to secure that the brewing time reaches the targeted number. And it's basically implemented here and, and I can't can really we, can tell exactly <laughs> where. And I also have to say, I don't know. I mean, I don't even really know how it looks like because the application is important and not the piece itself. It's the, the interplay of the software, the flow meter and the IQ flow. Yeah, that really matters. So you talked about you talked about the IQ flow valve, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that is interplaying with the software and different components in the machine. Is that valve uh, in front of the brewing unit and controlling the water flow or what is it doing exactly? That's a really good question because there is actually systems that are regulating the flow before the brewing unit. Yes. But from then on, everything is left out of control just by the water running through the coffee grounds to what time ever. So to answer your question, the valve um, is uh, implemented after the brewing unit. And this is what it makes so special because then IQ flow can really monitor and also adjust the flow to reach a targeted brewing time. That would never be possible if the IQ flow would be before the brewing unit. And that makes it so special. And it does that in real time. Absolutely. So it can basically change the character of a drink whilst preparing it or reacting immediately. Um, mm, there is actually no need to um, change the drink while preparing it because, um, yeah, it's, I mean, uh, we want to secure actually the set profile, which is in here, but we could easily arrange a new profile. So interesting enough, I mean, from one single espresso with one um, roasted coffee bean blend, you could actually define different espressos just by defining different taste profiles with using different brewing times. And this is, I can tell you, impossible with any other system. So customers have the opportunity to really create a signature flavor profile that you can then recreate on all Franken machines that are equipped with IQ Flow, right? It, exactly, yeah. Impressive stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It definitely is, yeah, and unique. So IQFlow really sounds like a very interesting and unique technology. And I'm personally also convinced that it's, it's very valuable to the business of our customers. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, I've explained already in length how excited I am about this technology. And we would like to thank very much for your attention and to be perfectly honest now i'm really longing for a perfect espresso so please excuse myself <laughs> and goodbye bye bye